My dear cadets, assalamu alaikum and a very good morning to all of you. I hope you all are well at your respective houses during this corona pandemic. I'd like to welcome you to today's session. But before that, I'd like to remind you some daily necessities in our new normal situation. You should wash your hands frequently with soap or any other hand sanitizers. You should use handkerchief or tissue or towel while sneezing or coughing and a must. Definitely, it has become part of our regular dress, that is, we should always wear masks. And we should not neglect or avoid any sort of temperature rise in our body. We should not shake hands and we should be away from wild animals. And you know me, I am your Bulbul Gaji sir, lecturer in English, Purushal Khat College. While preparing this lesson, I consulted these books, Colin Scoville English Grammar, Oxford English Grammar, Intermediate English Grammar, and Cambridge Advanced Learners Dictionary. All these books are very user friendly and uh, they can, they, they're books that should be collected by everyone. And today we're going to talk about tag questions. So here you see some idea from which we can gauge that today's topic is going to be tag question. After this lesson, you will be able to Describe the use of tag question. Apply the rules of use of tag question. Question tags, that's the topic for today. Before moving into the discussion, I'd like to show you some exercise. See how tag questions appears. We shall have to be punctual. What should be the tag question? They would go, that is not the book she wants. He would rather wait a little longer. I can play the guitar. So look at these sentences. How could we make that question? After today's session, I hope you will be able to solve this exercise. Before that, when do we use question tags? When we know and are certain about something to reconfirm what we understand. When we expect others to agree with us, use polling intention. Intonation we will talk about later on. Follow the pitch of voice in speaking. When we expect others to agree with us. With that question, the intonation, it matters seriously. When you ask questions or check information, use rising intonation. What are the forms? <clears throat> After statements, not questions. Small questions comes at the ends of sentence. You are a bad man. Aren't you? You see, the small question comes at the end of this sentence. Aren't you? That's the tag. The question tag after the statements. The small question at the end of the sentence is called tag question. Now, tag questions for positive statements or affirmative sentence, we usually use negative text, but in some cases we can use positive text question, which is very less in use. It's hot, isn't it? See, isn't it? Negative question. A negative statement, positive tag. 
it should be negative or positive tag negative statements we will use positive tag question isn't it hot it is it isn't hot is it see you see the positive tag so if you have affirmative sentence or positive sentence you use negative tag if you have negative sentence then you use positive tag remember to use the verb in the statement to form the verb in the question tag yes the very how to make a form question tags okay principal auxiliary verbs modal auxiliary verbs so principal auxiliary verbs and modal auxiliary verbs so if there is no auxiliary verbs we can use what can we use we, we invite if we don't have any auxiliary verb then we can use do if you request for something that is the question tag we can make negative or positive for making request positive tag how can reply to question tags okay use the verb in the statement ronald doesn't like skiing does he so now we're talking about replying the question text ronald doesn't like skiing does he so how would you reply no he doesn't peter likes music doesn't he yes he does see the way we you reply to that question important points what is the question tag for let's auxiliary verb or shall we it should be shall and pronoun we or you pronoun should be we we are going to discuss it in the later part let's go shall we or will you after imperative so do we use own to you ask or order people to do something for example you can ask uh imperative sentence please open the door on to but in, in for imperative sentence both are correct do sit down on to you ask somebody to sit down immediately that's the meaning shut up come to you ask somebody to stop talking at once after imperatives when we can use will would can could request or invite people to do things so for requesting we use will would can could remember these things give me a hand will you would you invite somebody to help open a window would you in fact request people to open the window so that's the meaning so when you express to request or invite people to do things we usually use positive okay for imperatives what can we use after negative don't forget will you own to you will you after i am in this statement what is the question tag that's a, that's the most commonly mistaken tag question that for i am the question tag is aren't i remember this you you may find various opinion regarding this but there's the exact answer and that's the mostly accepted answer i'm very tired i'm tired what is the pronoun for the following subjects look at this this is tricky if you remember this 
that question will be very easy for you. We will have sessions, whether you remember or not. You see, anyone, anybody, someone, somebody, everyone, everybody, no one, nobody. All these subjects, they take pronoun they. And when you are talking about their tech question, what is the pronoun for the following subjects? Anything, something. Can you guess? Nothing. And the, for these sort of subjects, the pronoun will be it. How can we form quotient text if we have negative words in the statements? This is very important. What are the common negative words? Never, nobody, nothing, hardly, not. How can we form quotient text? Apply a positive tag. How can we focus if there is a word need in the statement? First, we have to decide the part of speech of the word. Auxiliary verb or main verb? That we're talking about the models. Okay, if need is the main verb, you need not go with me. What would be, you see here, need. What is, is it auxiliary verb or main verb? So based on that, she needs you. This is the main verb. And here it's auxiliary verb. So the tag question will change on the base, basis of their use. Now, some explanation of the statement. In the present form of B, in an aff affirmative statement, if the subject is I, the auxiliary changes to aren't in the tag, which we talked earlier. I'm sitting next to you, aren't I? I'm a little red, aren't I? With let's, the tag is shall we? Let's go to the bit, shall we? Let's have a coffee, shall we? We talked about this. Tag with will you close the window? Will you hold this? Will you remember these examples? Now we are talking about, I'm showing you some examples. Affirmative tag after a sentence containing a negative word such as never, hardly, nobody. Okay, nobody lives in the house today. You never liked me, have you? When the subject is nothing, we use it in the tag. Nothing bad happened, did it? Nothing ever happens, does it? If the subject is nobody, somebody, everybody, no one, someone, everyone, we can use they in the tag. Nobody asked for me, did they? Nobody lives here, do they? Main verb is a have, not an auxiliary verb. It is more common to use do in the tag. Now, that's what I was talking about earlier regarding need. If it is the main verb, not an auxiliary verb, then we invite do or don't for making tag question. You have a Ferrari, don't you? She had a great time, didn't she? But if you in this sentence, let me be clear, if you in this sentence use have or had, it won't be a problem, but that's the standard one. With used to, he used didn't in the tag. He used to work here, didn't you? He used to have long hair, didn't he? We can use affirmative tags after affirmative sentences to express reactions such as surprise or interest. That's the exception. So in affirmative sentence, you can use affirmative tag if you want to express a reaction such as surprise or interest, but it's less likely. You're moving to Brazil, are you? So here are some homeworks based on your understanding of today's discussion. So nothing came in the post. He had better go there, but you will let me if she calls. So you think I cannot do it? She can hardly love him after all he did. Now, boys, if you have any question regarding today's session, you are welcome with your queries. You can ask to the comment box in the website or you can text me in either Viber or Facebook or you can call me at my number. 
Before finishing, I would like to remind you once again that the world is facing a terrible situation. It has been more than 10 months. The world has failed to produce any effective remedy for this unique situation, which is COVID-19 or coronavirus. If you love yourself, if you love your family, you must stay home, stay together. You must follow the health measures. You must follow the social distancing rules. You must stay away from contact of people. So stay home, stay safe. That's the only medicine you can buy without money for your family. We will have next session very soon. Till then, in this session, I will clarify your doubt if you have any. So till then, Allah Hafiz. May Allah bless you all.